Where is your god now? Kaiju, Dragon Ball, Pokemon, and more. It's Steven's Story Reviews. Hello there, collectors. It is Steven here, and today I'm bringing you another Godzilla review. Today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit different, and it's going to be Bandai's Movie Monster Series, or Chibi Movie Monster Series, Chibi Godzilla, Chibi Mothra, and Chibi King Ghidorah. Now, as you see, uh, Toho did a, a Chibi Godzilla series in uh, in Japan, and um, yeah, he, he kind of looks like broccoli. So Bandai decided to go ahead and make Movie Monster series vinyls, and they're going to be about 500 yen, or about five or so dollars. That being said, uh, well, fandom is not going super duper crazy over these, and considering there are other chibi representations of Godzilla and some other kaiju on the market, these are kind of being overshadowed. But uh, do these have any merit to them? Let's take a look to see whether or not they're worth adding into your collection. First and foremost, I won't make you wait, we'll go ahead and take a look at the big guy, the king of the monsters himself, Godzilla. And to be honest with you here, folks, uh, well, with these releases, we'll go ahead and kick it off with brutal honesty here, you're not going to be getting something that's made to be super duper high quality and meant to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with something like a D for real from X+, Plus or maybe an SH Monster Arts, even though seemingly you're going to be getting SH Monster Arts quality of paint for a significantly lower cost. Anyway, for Chibi Godzilla here, the paint's going to be pretty straightforward and basic with just some white for the eyes. We do have the dorsal plates and the little toesies, so yeah, there's not a whole lot going on here. He does have a couple of bumps on his head, and to be honest, it kind of reminds me of broccoli, so if you don't like your veggies, you're probably not going to like this Godzilla. This Godzilla is also the only one to feature any point of articulation, and that is going to be a neck swivel. So if you want to spit his head around like an owl, congratulations, you can do that. Godzilla does have a little bit of charm, though, because he has those very soulless eyes. So I imagine if you wanted to have some fun with this one, maybe hiding him somewhere in your spice cabinet and scaring the ever-living crap out of your mom or your brother or maybe even your wife. Uh, I hope she's not listening to this because that's going to happen. Then you can probably do that. Overall, Godzilla is pretty neat. And that's all I have to say about that. Next up, we have my favorite of the trio, and that's going to be Mothra. Yep, I didn't save my favorite for last, and why is Mothra my favorite? Well, I do feel that this design really does lend itself well to the overall chibi name and the feel that we've been seeing over the years, because she has those big eyes, she has the antennae, we do have the wings, which feature those big spots. Overall, this really does speak to something that's small and has weird proportions. It, it seems childish and it just seems cute. Mothra translates well over to this design, but the biggest bummer here is that there's no paint on the back. Yeah, it's five bucks, but I mean, come on, can we just put some yellow dots or something? It's kind of bland if you're looking at it from the back, which at that point, we're going to keep it back to something that is PG. Overall, the paint applications for Mothra is pretty nice. There's some stuff that's going out on the lines, but eh, you know what? It's okay. It's five bucks. It's not that big of a deal. Mothra is also pretty squishy as they all are, but for some reason, I just find it real fun to squish this one. So if you're a Mothra fan, this is definitely going to be one, regardless of whether or not you like Godzilla or King Ghidorah, you're going to want to pick up, or if you're looking to woo the heart of a Mothra fan, definitely one to consider getting anyway. And now the one with the most expression, we're going to be taking a look at King Ghidorah. And oddly enough, that left head is looking like a little bit of a troublemaker. Did they take a little bit of a sign from the recent memes from 2019's movie? I don't know. But anyway, King Ghidorah here is probably the most complicated of the three to be released because it actually has quite a bit of paint going on here. And instead of just recreating the same head three times and just like adding the mean and angry eyebrows or the sad eyebrows, kind of like you would do to drawings in middle school or whatever. They didn't do that here. It looks like they actually created three unique head sculpts when they were casting the vinyl here. So there is actual effort that's put into this one. Now, the wings of King Ghidorah also have a little bit of texture to them, but what's a bit unfortunate is that the toesies of King Ghidorah here don't have any paint application to them. I think they could have easily just added some white or 
something there. Now, uh, what's a bit of a bummer to mine in specific is that the middle head lo kind of looks like the Joker there because he's got some spilled over red paint. Yeah, that, that kind of sucks. But King Ghidorah is looking pretty, pretty cool. Unfortunately, there is that sort of cut on his abdomen, which makes it seem like he should be able to swivel around, but he does not. Now it's time to take a look at the tags of all the figures here. And, well, they're pretty much going to be all the same. The front of the tag is just going to have a picture of Chibi Godzilla, a whole bunch of Japanese talking about Chibi Godzilla. And on the inside, we're going to have all the legal mumbo jumbo and the fact that something's a thousand yen, go to the Bandai Boys Division website, and the trademark and copyright information. The fact that there's not going to be any customer service outside of Japan. Now, on the back of the tag, there's actually a little bit of a uniqueness to each of the tags. They show a picture of the kaiju and a little bit of a blurb that each one is saying. Unfortunately, I don't read Japanese, so I don't know exactly what each one is going to say. However, I do have access to a translating tool, and I'm going to do my best to help you learn what it's saying and just sort of interpret it for you. So for Godzilla's tag, it's saying that he essentially hates to lose. Something about being a business guy that doesn't like to cry and breathes fire or something like that for mothra mothra is going to be a pretty straightforward that is a friend to godzilla and likes to take to the sky for king Ghidorah, king Ghidorah is going to be interesting that is not scared and has three heads pretty simple and straightforward now of course someone who knows japanese is probably going to comment down below correcting me calling me an idiot but then they're also probably not going to listen to the part that i said i was using google translate and interpreting what exactly it was saying so yeah there's that now we're going to go ahead and round out the review with a size comparison for you so you can see how big these little pipsqueaks are and uh well they're not very big at all they're just about three to four inches tall so yeah, you don't have to worry about space for these little buggers. Pretty cool. So buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. Overall, these are not going to be for everybody. There are a lot of folks who are already turning these away. Some folks who canceled their orders once they realized it would be the Chibi Godzilla stuff, the actual Toho trademark Chibi Godzilla stuff, and not just the King of the Monster stuff, but uh, cutesy and wootsy and artsy and whatnot. So, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate, but at the same time, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. If you're a fan, they're about five bucks a pop before shipping and handling, so hey, not a bad price. But, you know, the aftermarket's going to kick in one day, so just keep that in mind. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now you've heard a lot from me, I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand-selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand-selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.